Cruz. I'm Empire Dominic, and welcome back to the Night of the Lesbian Vampire. So we're still on our date with a very hot... Actually, we're, we just ended our date with a very hot and sexy vampire, Elizabeth. Which is a very classical name for, you know, a vampire name. Elizabeth. Usually, like, a very common vampire name. And we're, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to play this game and do Carmilla's route. Carmilla seems nice. She might mean a lot of uh, innuendo jokes, but I wouldn't mind that. I really hope I would get to see her again. One year later? I sat on a computer and pretended to work. Someone tell me. We haven't seen her for a year? What? I'd only been waiting for the sun go. So much keeper's light. I can't get over that sound effects tells me in text what it means. Then when it did a bit longer. Then a bit longer. Once I was running out of things to pretend to do. No matter how long I waited, she didn't show up. Not Elizabeth, and not even Carmilla. I thought for sure they'd come around again on Halloween night. But I suppose they had really found an alternative source. Yeah, and I've noticed the decoration is still the same. Kind of lazy thing, Lydia. Don't you agree? Don't you think that some skulls and vampires should, you know, be zombies and Frankenstein, I guess? It had, it had been what I wanted, right? Though, after the night with Elizabeth, the night had gone wonderfully. But... Afterwards, we didn't exchange numbers or anything. I kept hoping she'd stop by, but she never did. I sighed and shut down the computer. The window was empty. No one was tapping seductively at the glass. Oh, I missed the window tapper lady. I hung up my lab coat and walked towards the front. The doorway was empty. No one knocking with purpose at this late of hour. No, no. No, not the door knocker lady. I knew I could go to Bloodlust and see if Elizabeth was around, but that just felt so desperate. If she wanted to see me, she would have. I sighed. It was fine. There were plenty of other women out there. And one day I would find the right one. She probably wouldn't be a vampire. I dug into my pockets and pulled out my ticket for the midnight showing of The Bride of Chucky. No one would cheer me up faster than a good horror movie, and the trailer had made it look like a fun time. I even marathoned the previous Chucky movies to prepare. I smiled a little to myself and tucked the ticket back into my pocket. There was no reason to wait around here anymore. I locked up and left. The end? Yo, what? Really? Wow, re really? That's it? I only get to see them once? Oh wow, me with me. You really miss me every hamster solely and her and does not respect- Oh, okay. They're, they're just saying, hey, uh, about the opinions about hamsters, that's just Mina, okay? That don't- we're not part, we don't believe what she believes. Holy crap, so that's it? Huh. So my guess here is that there is a wrong way of playing this. <laughs> and I think I fucked up. Okay. So what I'd like... Oh! Oh, I think I know why. Because there are options here that will allow me to pick Elizabeth's path and <clears throat> Carmilla's path. So I think what... Um... What... Um... Fuck. What is it? What I should have done here, instead of not letting them in, I should have let them in. That way it feels like I'm inviting them. Because I think um, Elizabeth would like that. Elizabeth would like it if we were told if she was invited in. And I don't know what the drinks. Alright, I have to speed run this shit again. Here we go. Uh skip. Open the door. Now oh! Oh, so it depends on the lips. It depends on the lips. I've noticed the color of the vampire lips over there is color blue. And and she's color blue. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I decided to open the door. It would be but would stay inside where to feel safer. Only a bit of hesitation. I opened the door, stepping back. Ray, Ray just slammed the door closed if they tried anything. 
They just stood there. They didn't dash in like I had feared. Okay. Now what? Oh! Elizabeth smirked. She grabbed hold of Carmilla, who looked confused, then very upset. <laughs> Don't you dare, you vile! <laughs> <laughs> Well, Elizabeth lifted Camilla off the ground, and as if she weighed nothing, then threw her towards the doorway. <laughs> oh! So they legit cannot enter without being... asked. <laughs> I expected her to sail through it, but she didn't. And I guess in horror, it was like a cartoon, Camilla landed hard against the opening. Instead of sailing through it, she should... like she should have done. It was there like it was a visible wall. It was like there was an invisible wall there. She slid down and landed into the pavement with an annoyed grunt. Now do you believe us? Come on, stood up and she seemed unshaken and injured and glared at Elizabeth. I'll get you back for that! I had no choice but to believe them. Okay, I believe you both. How about the vampire thing? That is... Okay, skipping all this and you. Skipping all this. And what about this? Yeah, she liked that. I always thought vampires were pretty cool. Yeah, I shouldn't have said zombies were cool. It felt embarrassing to admit, but Elizabeth smiled reassuringly. The Dracula movie that came out a few years ago? It's so over the top and cheesy. I love it. <laughs> I think it's the best adaptation I've seen. Hmm. There's also the fact I have the same name as one of the iconic characters. Amina? I chuckled with a coincidence. What a funny coincidence. She grinned. I'm quite fond of that one as well. Really? I've always really enjoyed movies. What's your favorite movie? Okay, here we go. Skipping through all this. Alright, we're, we're gonna save somewhere here because I feel like one of the drinks. What about the kids? It's my go-to drink at Unfamiliar Bars. They're very pretty to look at. Not quite the same as the real thing, but it'll do. I don't think it's that mattered what they drink. Hang on, let me try it again. I don't give a crap. I'm not in the mood for liquor, but I love cranberry juice. I love cranberry juice. I thought something red would be appropriate, but Elizabeth doesn't seem to pick on my joke. I, just, I felt too self-conscious trying to explain it. Alright, I'll be back with a drink. Oh shit, joke flew overhead like a bat. <laughs> what about painkillers? I love the pineapple and orange juice combo. Did you think I was uncool because I drank the girly drinks? Should I have been ordered a beer? I hated the taste though. She smiled and responded. Alright, I'll be back with a drink. Alright, fine, we're going with the first one. I mean, the first one was actually the smartest thing. Darkest Storm. I've always wanted to try one. It does have a cool sounding name, doesn't it? Alright, I'll be back with a drink. Okay. All this vampires. Vampires are pretty awesome. You saw for yourself. When you threw Carmilla? Oh yeah, this one. Since we since we've known now that they can't enter without permission, because <laughs> she threw Carmilla through the door. I chuckled remembering the way she looked. She, she looked squished against the visible barrier. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I can't ex- We're skipping! Oh! Ah, damn, I shouldn't have skipped too early. History. I really hope I will see her again. Oh. Oh, so after that, after that scene, I hope seeing her again. This happened. I was staying late to do paperwork again this Halloween, but this time I had someone keeping me company. This software's interface looks so ugly. Hey, it's also dumb. I know, but my boss likes it. She gave up looking. She gave up on looking over my shoulder and began to pace around the room. She looked. She looked everything over. She was careful not to disturb anything, but no matter how many times she had been there, she remained curious. It was probably because the scientist in her. Hmm. I thought she wouldn't notice, but I glanced up to watch her. Normally being around her was relaxing, 
This past year, we had grown comfortably close. However, tonight was very different. I wanted to ask her to a movie with me. I'd even gone out and bought some heavy curtains and blinds. She might say no though. Maybe it was too soon. Maybe not. Ah! Are you alright? You look really frustrated. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, she was saying ah, not ah. As if something happened. <laughs> I tried to smile. She turned away to look at some safety signs we had hanging up. This place doesn't pay you very well, does it? I snorted. No. <laughs> no, it's five bucks an hour. There were some there were some months where I struggled, but I made do. She knew that. As a student, even a vamp as a student, even a vampire student, she was very she was in a very similar situation. She did have a part time job as a research assistant and sometimes worked in a university's library. It paid as well as my job though. I was thinking yeah? Between my income and your income. I stopped what I was doing and gave her full attention. She ab she pulled my absent she pulled absently to my at my ear. I was just thinking it might be beneficial if we moved in together. Yeah! Let's go! I could believe it! I stared at her and mouth hanging open. I had been so nervous for so long, and she just came right out and said it. Oh, I Guess that wasn't a very romantic way to put it. There are romantic intentions as well, of course. I guess Carmelo could have done it a lot better, but you know, this awkward nerdy part, I like it. <laughs> this past year with you has been... It's been just amazing. I like the idea of waking up together and having meals together and... Maybe you don't think so. She smiled. She was frowning. I needed to explain. I hadn't meant to give her the impression I wasn't fully on board with the idea. No, it's just that I was actually planning to ask you the same thing tonight. Yeah. <sighs> really? To move in together? Yeah. She closed the distance between us and bent down to, to meet my gaze where I sat at the computer. The gloom she had earlier was completely gone. Gl gone. Gone. I turned away from the computer, wanted to face her fully. Yeah. Great minds, huh? Great minds think alike. She kissed me gently, and then I then pulled away. I don't want to distract you. I know you have a lot of work to do. I shook my head. If the equipments weren't so expensive, I would shove off the desk to prove that I would choose her over work. <laughs> Instead, I saved and shut down in less dramatic gestures. I am done with work. Yeah, I shut the computer down and stepped away from the desk and grabbed the key so I could lock the place up as I went. I turned to Elizabeth and clapped my hands together awkwardly. What? Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I took off my lab coat and she followed me into the waiting area of the clinic. Will you s sleep in my coffin with me? <laughs> I feel like the voice actress didn't intend that to happen, but developers were like, Yeah, that's exactly what we need. The awkward invitation of... Would you want to fuck me? Would you like to sleep in a coffin, Noosh? Coffin? I squeaked. I looked over at her. I knew she had tricked me again. She laughed. I should have known better. I had been I had been to her apartment. It was just a normal bed. I laughed with her. I don't know. Maybe they're comfortable. <laughs> it's too morbid to even think about. I shuddered, though she was still laughing. I was also thinking... Yeah? If you... Ever wanted to be a vampire, too? Well, you know, she does work at night, so... I reached for the door and stopped. My hand hovered near the handle. This is like a very important thing to think about. It was something I had considered before. She was a vampire and I was a human. How could that possibly go on? That could still work. Well, it's just that you won't live as long as she will. I would age and she would stay the same. I needed human food and she would require only blood. There, there were benefits of being a vampire, but there were drawbacks too. There had been so many things to consider, and oh, it had been something we avoid discussing before. Something that would occasionally hang us over, creating an awkward silence. I answered carefully, because in truth, I don't really know what I thought of. I don't really know what I thought about it all here. I'm just gonna save right there. Yep. Yeah? Yeah, I guess I want to be a vampire. I would turn you into a vampire, 
if you asked. I studied her expression. Does she want me to be a vampire? Does she like better as me as, or does she, did she like me better as a human? I'm glad you would, but what do you think? Would you like me better if I was like you? She shook her head and stepped closer to me. I adore you the way you are, and that wouldn't change if you become a vampire. I will be happy if you are happy. It's also your body and your choice. I won't take that from you. I only offer so that you know that I'm willing. I threw my arms around her. She, she already seemed to know what to say. She kissed the side of my head and, took, and I took a deep breath. I want to think about it more. I pulled away so I could take a look at her. I want to consider things carefully. Weigh the benefits against the negatives, you know? How scientific. I approve. Yeah. Nerd talk, baby! She smiled at me and I resumed prepping the door so we could... I figured you would. Uh, I chuckled. I locked the door and we headed into the night. I had found something in Elizabeth that was rare and precious. We had a connection that I had always dreamed of. I loved her in a way I had not thought possible. I loved her in a way I had not thought possible. Someone who truly accepted me and appreciated the things in me that others found annoying. In turn, I felt the same way about her. Hand in hand, we head home to our home. Aw, yay, the end. Oh, okay, let's skip the end credits. All right, so anyways, there we go. We got, did it, we did it. So that was pretty quick, actually. I feel like I can, I can do a speed run with, um, Carmelus. Yeah, I can do a speed run for Carmelus, but that's gonna wait for another video though. But yeah, we did it. We've got We've got Elizabeth, maybe. It's pretty good. I was expecting like an artwork in the end, but you know, that'll do. That'll do. It's fine. It's still cute. I love it. <laughs> so yeah. That's very interesting. Like I wanna know more about the vampires because I in different terms they're like a lot of different vampires, there's like different lores, like some cannot see the reflection, some don't have shadows, I, this thing about them cannot, not being able to enter a house unless they're, they have permission to, is actually pretty new to me. I thought it was more of like a reference to Dracula, about a, being invited to a party or something. I feel like he wasn't allowed to be invited. I mean, I don't think he was able to enter unless he was invited, personally. But I don't really know. I'm, I'm very confused about the vampire's lores here. I really like to know more, but you know, we will just have to wait. Anyways, that was Night of the Lesbian Vampires. If you guys want to try this game out for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's free. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, thumbs up the like button to death. Become a Parker today, and I'll see you guys in the next video.